What's up guys? Uh, today I'm going to start on a new project. Um, you see right over here, it's all this um, brush over there. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna clear out some of it and just kind of make a path today. Got a weed eater today, um, it's right there. And we're gonna start making the path today. Um, this is a project that's going to last, I'm gonna work on it this summer and be a project of mine for the next five years. This is my parents' house, but it'll be something I'll be able to come to because um, they're gonna live here for the rest of their lives. And so every time I come and visit, I'll be able to come down here and see my park and see how it's doing. Um, and I'll do some, uh, I'm gonna kind of walk around and do a little bit of an update video on everything that I've talked about. All right, so here's some little bushes, um, uh, little, I'm not really for sure what they are. They were on sale for like $2 a piece um, last year. So I planted them last fall and they're doing great. They're getting established, starting to grow a little bit. This one's bigger than those. Those only get about um, two foot tall and this one will get about four foot tall. So it should almost get about as tall as this window. Got three more. These are larger. These are just like that one, I believe. These will get about four foot tall. So about the tall as the window. Um, I'll show you guys the park in a little bit. Uh, let me grab the weed eater. All right, so here's a little uh, maple I planted. I believe it's a silver maple. Um, it's doing great. It had two leaves on it when I planted it this year. It was a year old. It I got it from my grandpa's house. Uh, and so I'm going to look over here. Here is the koi pond. All the fish are doing great in there, uh, just chilling. Uh, I got some grass growing up. I need to pull this grass and get some more uh, more mulch. Get all my cactus over there. I got more cactus over there. That pump's kind of ugly, but there's an elephant ear growing up next, so it's going to cover it up. Here's a little plant I got. It's about half the size of my plant. It's going to get nice red uh, flowers on it. It is a perennial, so it'll come back. Here's this tree I planted. Uh, it's so it's doing okay. It's, it hadn't died yet. It just I took a toll when I uprooted it. Um, there's some more cactus there. And then we got, uh, this will get very large. I think 12 foot tall, about it wide. Should touch almost to that. Just something kind of give it some look and some shade right here with the house. I got a new greenhouse. We built that finally. Um, we've been working on that for about three months. I was gonna make a YouTube video, but by the time I started making YouTube videos, uh, it was already, the frame was almost done. So I decided I was just gonna leave that out, but yeah, it's almost done. It's pretty nice. Um, my garden, I haven't been able to work because it's been raining for two days, but the grass is starting to come up. You can see the okra there, all my tomatoes and bell peppers. Um, here are all these little maples I've grown from, I've grown some seed that are going to be, uh, what happened there? That are going to be, those all died for some reason, uh, bonsais. And I might plant some in the ground too. Got a whole bunch of these pots that are, I'm gonna get large. These are all apple trees. Here's all my, just my collection of uh, trees and I'm gonna turn into bonsais if they'll live. There's the guy I made in the last video. Um, here's my sunflower garden. We got green beans coming up all next to them. We got a uh, cabbage right there. Um, lettuce coming up all right there. This is another place I gotta, I gotta get all the weeds out. Um, bunch of green beans right here. Um, we got some carrots growing in here. We got a little bit of everything growing. And these things I haven't checked on in about it. Oh, I haven't even checked on these guys in two days and they've tripled their size. It, it's amazing how fast they're growing, but they're very, very fun to grow. I got some cucumbers coming up there. I'm gonna vine those cucumbers up the sunflowers. So you'll see how that works. But um, I guess I'll go show you guys where I'm gonna build this park at. So I believe the park entrance will start right here along this, uh, where the grass kind of dissipates so it'll be easier to weed eat and everything take care of. And it'll come down and it'll go right down between those two large trees, this giant white oak and that sycamore down there. And I'm gonna leave most of these trees down here. I'm gonna plant a row of pines and some spruces and some bushes to get a good entrance because this will be the entrance to it. Or well, there'll be a path here and a path there. One of them will be the entrance. So I'm gonna plant pines along here too. We have a lot of native trees growing, but I like pines and evergreens, but they'll also, I'm not going to kill any of the pecans. I'm just going to cut down. Well, I might kill some of them because there's so many of there's, there's probably a hundred of them trying to grow in here, but he did burn this and it killed most of these pecans, but there's little tiny shoots coming at the bottom. So we'll see what I'll leave. I'll, I'll probably cut all these big stems down, let them grow. And then I'll pick and choose as I decide to build here. Um, so it's going to come around and, uh, there's going to be a trail go down here. It's going to go down to the bottom. It's going to come up here, up like that. But then over there, there's going to be another trail and they're going to meet back together up here. And then they'll come up right over there and then I'll have another trail coming up here. And I'm going to plant, 
um, fruit trees, bushes, flowers. It's just gonna be a huge garden. Uh, the only bad thing I don't like about this area is um, it's prone to flooding. Actually, our house flooded last year in an inch of water. And so, I mean, if it can get flooded, obviously this would be feet underwater. But lucky, um, lucky for me, this is up here. So the current won't be very bad if it does flood. So surely it won't kill. It might, um, I'm gonna have benches and stuff. That's something I'm worried about. The trees should be rooted in good enough that they will not die. I'm gonna put the trees that um, are, need less water up on top of the hill. Cause they, you know, so they don't uh, get drowned because that's good fertile creek soil down there. And um, it's mostly sand. And that's why you see all these big tall trees growing in it. Cause they, um, they like the, all that nutrients. But um, you know, this is a very large tree. I'll probably do some pruning on this tree. Just some light pruning just so I don't hit my head off of it or anything. Uh, I like this tree, but it, my, all these little trees are probably gonna have to go eventually. Um, there's a lot of thorn vines in it. So this will probably all go, most of it at least. But you can see this is a monstrous tree. I had an extra pay attention how big this tree is. I bet you this thing is over 300 years old. Just a monstrous tree. But um, anyways, we're gonna get started. And you can see all those little, um, little ones growing right there. Those are pecans. Um, we got some little oaks coming up places. Uh, I'll show you some of those real quick. If I can find any. Um, I just saw some a second ago. But um, yeah, here, here's some more of those dead pecans that died and I'm kind of upset about those, but um, there are too many of them, like I was saying. So I'm gonna have to, yeah, cut some of these down. So all these ones that practically died already are gonna get cut down. And um, I'll leave that sycamore. I'm gonna leave about 20 trees down here so I can build off of them. And it is at an angle, so it's gonna be um, real nice. I'm gonna weed it this first, and then I'm probably gonna come through with the garden tiller and till it up, remove all the soil, and fill it full of rock to have a nice smooth path to walk on. But uh, so we're gonna get started here. All right, so I've been weeding. I weeded for about 15 minutes, got the first path done. Um, we're just gonna, I think I'm gonna keep it this path for right now until I get more of it done over here's the entrance right here and i'm gonna have some kind of large um, like cedar or cypress or you know, something that um one of those big bushy trees that um you can make entrances through i'm not really sure what they're called they're evergreens though um but here's the path you walk down now this is all grass but I'm, i plan on eventually making this rock and uh planting uh like rose bushes down this because they're they like sun and maybe some down that way, or some other types of bushes and flowering bushes because um, because of that. Now here are some pecan trees right here, or maybe walnut, not really for sure. Um, but this one, I don't know if they'll live or not because I'm gonna plant pines right here. So um, if they're in the way, they probably have to go, but uh, Here's another tree. This one, yeah, this one was about to bloom and it died. But I think I can, let's see if I can break these over. They're not really freshly dead, so now I can't. Anyways, you walk along right here. And there's the old path, but you come along like this. And i definitely gonna leave this larger um, tree. I believe it's a pecan. And I'll probably leave this one and that one. And then the pines will go right there. So I think I'm gonna have to only remove two pines, maybe not pines i only removed two pecans and um i'll remove that one and that one because we don't want too many down here because i want them to get big i don't want them to be all bunched up but um some of these oaks will live some of them will go uh but here is the path it comes right along and it zoom, makes a big s right here and it comes down almost to the fence and then it makes a hard right right along so I could, so you can come by these trees right here. And these, everything right here in the fence line will stay. And um, unless I plan on doing something, you know, things will change. But these large weeds, I don't know what they are, but they gotta go. I gotta remove these real quick. I picked up all that wheat, those weeds over there, and I started talking with my phone in my hand, walked all the way up there and explained everything and realized I wasn't even filming. So what I said about this is I thought I was gonna keep this maybe for um, some, maybe a natural kind of bed but then i decided i probably won't because it's real invasive and it gets real tall and i'd like to plant maybe a tree down here of some sort like an apple tree some kind of fruit tree this is gonna have a lot of fruit trees in it but you're gonna come up like so and uh there's gonna be this path right here 
and uh, then the path just goes up all the way in S's and it comes out at that point right there and there's gonna be trees planted all right here and all right here so when you walk out here you're not gonna be able to really see up there at the house because there's gonna be a bunch of evergreens up there making a barrier to make it feel like you you can't be you'll be able to see the house the only thing you'll be able to see is the top of those trees here's a large sycamore i'm gonna trim all its branches back and all those dead ones and let it live um there's some trees right there um i'll let live because they're the only ones and uh we're gonna leave about half native and then we're gonna fill it up with the rest um with non-natives uh but we're gonna have to remove that but i'm gonna make another path to go down here and it's gonna connect and it's gonna be a large circle right here so it's gonna be really um a lot of work but all right so it's day two and i got um some stuff to start planting in my garden area or my park um some ferns and some ground covers some perennials like the flower we got some spruces these can go on the edge to kind of hide it from make you feel like you're off in the middle of nowhere here's some Here's, um, I think it's a fig or something. Or it's a, a plum tree. I don't know if it actually produces plums, but uh, it has blossoms all over it. And it gets, it gets, I think about 10 foot tall. Yeah, about 10 foot tall. Yeah, I got uh, some other little blue spruces here. No, these are Alberta spruces. Got some pines, some larger pines, some uh, law follies. And got some, uh, I think another spruce or cypress. Um, so we got some, quite a few things and oops I got my dog got trashed all over the yard I didn't want to show it but uh we'll go walk down here and out I'm gonna go pick out some places to put these things I think we'll plant one of the big pines right about there in the middle of that grass because I just ordered 25 um 30 inch tall pines that we're going to plant around them to make it more like a forest so they're not all the same height um so it's more like a park and uh, more like nature I mean um we're gonna leave some of these trees like right here next to them, like that little sprout right there. Um, help hide it and we'll plant some of these pines between them. So I think we'll plant one pine right there, one pine like right here, one pine right there, and then a pine down there. And um, then we'll plant the little pines in between them. And then um, I took all their pines that um, they had. So I'll have to buy some more when they come in stock. And they're only 20 bucks and they're as tall as me and I'm six foot tall. So it's a pretty good deal. Um, but I bought 25 trees on Etsy for about $2 a piece and they're decently large. So um, I'll buy those next. Or um, actually what I might do is they have some on there. They have, it's like 130 bucks for 10 of them, but they're 60 foot or 60 inches tall. So almost as tall as me, about five foot, five and a half foot tall. So let's so get all that stuff out of there. So I went ahead and decided to plant one right there, one right here. One right there and then one right next to the other one. And then we're gonna fill in the other spaces because these things will get mo monstrous and we'll fill in the other ones with the smaller ones. And let these guys get really big and tall and uh, we'll keep the other ones not as tall. Um, some of them very small. Some of them will get tall, let get tall. But um, I'll have to get some other ones. I'm gonna buy at least three more. Um, Cause I wanna plant one right there over there, one down there and one or two over here. So we're gonna get a couple more probably. And uh, I'm gonna go get the rest of the stuff out. All right, so when you first walk down here, you're gonna see I got a Lafalali pine right there and I got an Alberta spruce. Got a Mugo pine or Mungo or whatever it is. Got a um, cypress of some sort there. Supposed to get 15 foot, but 50 foot tall. So really tall. And uh, this little guy, I think it's just more of a bush. Um, another uh, Alberta spruce, dwarf Alberta spruce. I'm gonna leave it right here next to this um, oak i'm gonna trim back most of those shoots just keep one um got a blue spruce right here and um i'm now noticing that so i need to move this over a little ways put this right over here about another four foot yeah that should be good um walk down here and you see i got some ground cover right here and that one's gonna be kind of hard for me to see uh got um some kind of it's a, i believe it's a plum flowering plum um, some little bush right there and then I got this little ground cover right here because uh, because uh, it doesn't like full sun it's partial sun so I planted it right under this sycamore which I'm gonna have to clean out uh, actually it's not very hard to clean them out when they're dead but then I got lapalai pine right there lapalai pine and I didn't plant anything down here yet I think this will be most of my native stuff 
maybe some pines because once you get down here you see how thick the grass is but not only is the grass thick this place floods because there's a creek right there and this can come all the way underwater so we got a nice pecan right here uh um i think it's an ash um huge sycamore huge oak so this place down here has its share of um trees i think a pine will do do good i'm thinking about cypress some um bold cypresses down here because they can definitely handle flooding because they grow along rivers and um come right up down here goes the path and then i got oh it fell over but i got one more spruce this is going to get about 15 foot wide but very tall so we'll plant this one right here in this open spot up from where it'll flood hopefully and then or i'm trying to think maybe i might plant it right up here i think i will actually so you can see it from my house and it'll also hide more right there i think um yeah i think that'll be better right there yeah we'll plant this guy it's that yellow new growth must be fast growing and it's been growing on that so as soon as i put it in this ground it should take off so let's get started digging all right so it is day three um and i've been working on this a little bit every single day and we're gonna go i'm gonna go ahead and walk down here and show you guys uh what i've done um everything i planted how i planted it i still got a few trees these lapalai pines and one cypress to plant but uh i'll show you guys real quick right here we have uh i planted this guy last winter it's a pecan tree a native pecan i uprooted him from right over there and just brought him right here so he's in the yard and uh we got the lapalai pine right here next to the path we walk in on and the thing i'm gonna cover this path in these kind of stones right here i'll just have to go collect some but uh right there there's a hole oh, it died i i try to get a cutting off that and bring it over here because it is a perennial but i got a little dwarf alberta spruce bruce it's a tick on his head anyways uh we got uh um, the mugo pine right here we're gonna get rid of all this grass and stuff eventually um we got some oaks and you know i might let that one live because i think it'll be neat to have this tree growing and this this uh dwarf alberta growing right up next to it uh i think that'll look nice get rid of that and that and get rid of all these big tall weeds um these right here are those guys right over there those little uh, green stuff right over there yeah this is what that stuff will grow into so we got to get rid of that um I planted right over here somewhere. I planted a, uh, okay, so I lost it. I think it's over here, actually. Yeah, it's right over here. I planted a little apple tree, and it seems to be doing good right there. It's a little tiny guy, a little guy right there. Uh, hopefully it'll grow some. Here's a little perennial, perennial, uh, don't even know what it is, but that was really pretty. So we're gonna let that, that gets about, it'll get about three foot high, three foot wide. Got another little dwarf Alberta. Um, right over here, we got a lot of it fell over. I haven't planted it yet. Got this um, Black Hill spruce. So it's not a blue spruce. I thought it was a blue spruce. It's not. It's Black Hill spruce, but it'll still be nice. Um, got a uh, right here. This is a uh, pink guara, is what it says. Um, right here, this is kind of my highlight. Uh, my favorite thing I bought. It's a flowering plum. Uh, Sissian plum tree, it's a flowering species of plum. And I think it does produce some form of plum actually on it, but they're just not very good or they're not really, they're edible, but they're not good tasting. Um, we got this little crawler right here I'm gonna plant. And if you walk along right over here, um, yeah, it's this right here, um, it's actually muddy. So it's starting to get a distinct trail. You can see it, I really like that. and. Um, we're gonna plant the fern right down here. We're gonna have to get rid of all this crap um, and plant it right under this sycamore. And uh, yeah, all this Johnson grass is gonna go. I'm gonna, I believe I'm gonna plant uh, a bo uh, bamboo grove right here. So you're walking around, because this is susceptible to flooding and I believe bamboo could survive it. And if it does get knocked down, it is fast growing. So it'll grow back. Oop, there's something right there. I don't know. But um, it takes a hard bite right here. And um, here are some pecan trees. I'll let this one live, that one live. Um, the only ones, I think actually I'm gonna leave most of the pecans to live because I love pecan trees. 
Um, of course, we'll cut down these guys, these like dead ones. But um, come along right up here. And uh, there's nothing, nothing. Um, I think I moved it up here. There it is. Um, there's the cypress. It is a weird species of cypress. It gets about 50 foot tall, but only 15 foot wide. I've already talked about it in the bank. Yeah, but um, Leyland cypress. But anyways, it's gonna be planted right there. But I got some more stuff in my truck to go plant, so I'm gonna go get that. Now I found these guys. Uh, you see these really silver tent. I'm not really for sure what they are, so if you know what they are, leave a comment down below. But uh, that's what they, they're like white, like silvery looking. They're not silver maples. Cause I don't even think they're a species of maple. They may be, but they're really pretty trees. So I was gonna plant some up here uh, real quick. All right, so I'm starting a little bonfire. I'm done planting all my trees up there. You can see the pine trees, uh, watered them. It's supposed to storm tonight too, so. But it's been raining for the past couple days and uh, the ground's really wet. All the, everything's really green. But you see these big white things. I'm removing them and I'm gonna start burning them right now. I'm gonna go get a lighter. I'm gonna collect all these big ugly stems like this. I'm just go throw them on the fire um just get a big bonfire going start burning them and just start grabbing them and walking out here and throwing it on the the hot fire we got a pretty big pile right here i think we'll get a bigger pile going so it doesn't go out we got a little bit of a pile right there to start burning some of these are house plants uh these are house plants some asparagus fern and i'll, I'll do potting videos of those pretty soon uh might actually do it before this video comes out i don't know here's some more perennials that'll do great down there they're real pretty they should spread a little bit there's um, another perennial that's a house plant um, and two more perennials down here and i got a packet of um some i don't even know how to pronounce that but they get really large and they're really pretty i'm gonna grow from those some seed they're perennials as well but uh, I'm getting a lighter real quick. All right, so uh, we've got the little bit of brush pile here. Well, I'm going to go collect all that vine over here and dump it on top of it once it starts burning. But let's go ahead and get this thing started right here. Uh, I believe this will do good. Uh, I, I tried to get started already, and I didn't have enough fuel. So we'll try to get this thing going here. Just get all on fire. If that gets on fire, then it should take off. There's cardboard boxes under there to help fuel it. <coughs> fuel it. Fuel it, too. All right, finally got it started. I had to set a fire inside the box. So the fo box would start burning, so it'd get hot enough to set this stuff on fire. This stuff will burn out pretty quick, so I better go start grabbing that, those vines to feel it, or it'll go out. So, here we go. All right, so this is gonna be it for this video. Uh, I'll give you guys a quick look at the plants right here. Those are, can you see them? Yeah, right there. Those are what I'll be planting in the next um, series. But, uh, like I said, this will be it. Uh, I'm gonna be, I'll show you guys kind of the finished product of the, the very beginning steps i guess it's be part one of a probably 50 part series here um so you guys should be expecting another video within the next week probably here i'll switch the camera around and uh you can see this is kind of the beginning steps you got the pines and um next video we should be getting japanese maples for the house and we should um be getting pines for down here and around the house and for bonsais uh the Japanese maples not be, might not be to the third part, but uh, that's it. So please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any um, thing, anything you want to request or anything you'd like to help me with because I am a beginner here. So uh, thanks, thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you next time.